Hi Facebook, good morning. Michelle Back is here. We are currently at the Toledo Express Airport. We've been here all morning. President Trump is set to hold a rally here later tonight. He's set to be here at 7 o'clock tonight. Doors will open at 4 o'clock and tickets for the rally are still available. Thousands of people are expected to come here today and many questions remain, especially if you're debating whether to come or not, what safety guidelines will be in place and how it's going to affect the area. Right now you can see, I'll switch the camera around for you. You can see things are relatively quiet right now. Not many people here, but this will be a different situation as the day progresses. You can see all of those porta potties are set up. The metal fencing is in as well. This is all the way around the airport right now. A lot of preparations in order to have this event. This is the third time that President Trump has visited the Northwest Ohio. If you remember back in January, he actually started his election year in Toledo, his first campaign rally. Then he visited Clyde, Ohio, the Whirlpool facility last month, and now he's set to come again to Toledo Express Airport for his rally. Now this rally will start at seven o'clock tonight. Doors open at four o'clock. This is a general admission event. However, you will need to register for tickets. There's a limit of two tickets per person. You also need to sign a COVID-19 waiver. This is going to acknowledge that you understand the risks of COVID-19. A lot of questions specifically about the procedures and measures that will be put into place here for this rally. The Toledo Lucas County Health Department said that they will be handing out masks. The Trump campaign also said that they will be handing out masks as well as hand sanitizer. Temperature checks will also be given as well. Now, health experts want to remind people that a pandemic is still going on. People still need to be vigilant, especially if they are attending a rally like this. President Trump has acknowledged the coronavirus concerns. His campaign, however, did say that they want to directly engage with their supporters, and that is why they do want to adapt in order to do these rallies. According to the Ohio Department of Health, political gatherings are exempt from the order that limits those large gatherings. Some of you have been asking about that. That's because this does fall under the realm of protected free speech. And again, there will be measures put into place. The Trump campaign says they will also put measures into place in order to protect everyone who is coming today. There has been criticism in the past from health experts saying that those measures were not followed by some of the guests. Something to remember today if you are coming just to wear your mask, hand sanitizer, try to practice social distancing. Now, when you do register for tickets online, they are still available. You will have to sign a COVID-19 waiver. Again, this is a disclaimer. It says that you acknowledge the risks of attending one of these events. Obviously, if you are feeling sick, stay home and understand if you are of an age group that could be of a specific risk. This might not be the best place to be if you are in that group. Now, a lot of you are asking, why is he coming back to Northwest Ohio? Well, the president has not really shied away from the Buckeye State. He also hasn't shied away from Northwest Ohio. In his past rallies, he's really focused on the economy, job creation, really honed in on the blue collar worker here in Ohio. That was a big talking point at the Whirlpool facility in Clyde last month as well. Ohio is a key battleground state. We've historically been known for that. And a lot of political analysts are saying that this presidential election so far, Ohio is still a toss up. Nonetheless, some political analysts believe that President Trump will be able to take the lead here in Ohio. So far, he is leading a few points. This is according to the most recent polling data. He's leading a few points here in Ohio, and I'm trying to find that for you. That is by 538. So according to 538, he is leading by a few points here in Ohio. Nonetheless, it's still a toss up right now. And we, we all know at this point, 2020 is unlike anything we've ever seen before. So obviously both presidential campaigns have had to adjust. Things are very chaotic. 
However, the Trump campaign said that they still want to directly connect with supporters and that's why they do want to go ahead and host these rallies. They said that they are adapting in order to do so. You can see things are really quiet here. The sun is just coming up, a pretty picture there. You can see all of those metal gates as I turn around here, the porta potties set up. Now, many people are expected to come here. We're expecting thousands of people. Not everyone will be attending the rally per se. Some will just be along the roads. Protests are also expected around the area, so it is rather busy. Again, doors will open at four o'clock today for this event. The president is set to speak at seven o'clock. He's making a stop in Dayton first, and then he will make his way here. If you're wondering how to get tickets, big question we've been getting, head over to our free WTOL news app or our WTOL website. We have a link right there. You can go ahead and register. As far as I believe, tickets are still available. However, you will have to acknowledge the risks involved. If you are attending, you will have to sign that COVID-19 waiver. You can see not much is going on right here, right now. However, that will be a different story as the day progresses. Very chilly out. You might hear me shivering in the background here, but it is expected to be a relatively nice day, especially if you've been tuning into our forecast throughout the morning. Yeah, you can see all of those lines right there. So this area will be filled with people as the day progresses. If you do plan on coming, my advice is to get here sooner rather than later, just to ensure that you get a good spot for parking. And again, this is a general admission event. The president actually held something relatively similar to what we're going to see today in Michigan last week. That event drew in about 5,000 people. That was at the Freeland Airport. That's near Midland and Saginaw. So it will be relatively similar today to what happened in Michigan last week. And again, 42 days before we are set to head to the polls. A lot of different data out there. Right now, political analysts say that Ohio is still a toss up. If you remember back in 2016, President Trump did win Ohio. He won that by eight percentage points, but there's still a lot of room for things to change. Data is still coming in. If you're just tuning in, political analysts are saying that Ohio is still a toss up. According to 538, President Trump has a slight lead over Democratic candidate Joe Biden right now in Ohio. And President Trump is really focusing on the Buckeye State. Again, really honing in on the economy, jobs. Focusing on that blue collar worker here in Ohio. That was a big appeal. I'll actually get a little closer. You can see some of those signs up there. You can see the Make America Great Again sign. If you can see past those golf carts and the fence there. Really is a beautiful morning though. You can see that sunrise there. And then there's the American flag, a lot of seating there, red, white, and blue. Again, this area will be packed with people, especially as the day progresses. If you are coming, I'd get here earlier rather than later. And it's going to be busy with traffic as well. So if you're not attending the event, I would suggest maybe avoiding the area to avoid sitting in traffic.
it's still really chilly. You might hear me shivering here in the background. Nonetheless, the day is supposed to be relatively nice, especially as it progresses. If you are interested in coming again, all of that information is up on our free WTOL news app or WTOL website. We're going to be live on Fox 36. Sorry if I'm walking too fast for you here. We're going to be live on Fox 36 in just about 15 minutes, breaking down everything else you need to know. If you haven't seen us all morning, make sure to tune in. Kelly has your forecast for the day and we'll have more information about today's rally. So we'll see you all on Fox 36.